Okay, what we have to understand, first of all, is the Greek grammar of Hebrew 6. It is present continuous active. It doesn't mean someone has simply fallen away. It means they persistently and irrepentantly do it. It's something that's chronic. It's something where there's a refusal to, to make a repentance. They've gone into this apostasy. They've gone into this immorality. They've gone back to the world. They've thrown down there. They haven't dropped their cross. They've thrown it down and gone back to the world and will not repent and come back. There is a point of no return, but only God knows when that is. Remember, Saul did not know that the Holy Spirit left him. But even in a desperate case, like Samson, where he lost his power and didn't know it, when he repented, the Lord still took him back. God does not save people to lose him. He likes to save people to keep them. Now let's understand two things. The first is 1 Corinthians chapter 5, where you had somebody in the church who backslid into the most perverse form of immorality imaginable, something incestuous with his father's wife. Even there, when the person wouldn't repent, he was given over to Satan to destroy his flesh that he might repent. So even with that kind of terrible gross sin, there was an avenue left open for that person not to be eternally lost. The other thing we have to bear in mind is the real meaning, the primary meaning at least, of the parable of the prodigal son. The prodigal son is a classic illustration of what happens in backsliding. There is no such thing as a successful backslider. They will wind up in a state of humiliation and if they're lucky, they'll come crawling on their hands and knees back to their father. Remember, Egypt is a metaphor for the world. What happened to Abraham when he went to Egypt? He ended up in a state of humiliation and wound up crawling back to God on his hands and knees. There is no such thing as a successful backslider. Not only will the Lord take a backslider back, he will lead the 99 sheep for the one to get them back. He will even bring calamity and humiliation into their life to get them to repent instead of trusting in this life or this world. But the theoretical possibility of them being eternally lost if they will not repent, that is the point of no return. Yes, there is one. There is one. However, if somebody really walks with Jesus, you trust him. You drop your cross, you pick it up and keep following him. You ask him to correct what's in your life and do anything he needs to do to get you home safely. You say it, you mean it. I guarantee you he will do it. Okay? I guarantee you he will do it. But we cannot say that if somebody backslides, they have no way to repent. That's not what Hebrews chapter 6 says. Again, the Greek text is present continuous active. Another verse that lends itself to misunderstanding because of translation, translational issues, is in John's epistle. He who is born of God does not sin. This has led to misunderstandings of doctrines held by certain hyper Wesleyans called entire sanctification, or certain Pentecostals into holiness doctrines, where they think, and they even pray in church, I thank thee, Lord, I haven't sinned in over 40 years and things like this. These beliefs are quite wrong. Again, the Greek text is present continuous active. It does not simply mean that, or mean that he who is born again or born of God never sins. It means they don't live in it. They don't practice it habitually. It's present continuous active. It's not always easy to translate Greek tenses into English. Uh, and the present continuous active is particularly difficult. There are also other features of Greek grammar, such as voice and mood that come into play. Voice and mood. Now we have some very good translations and some very good translators. But even the best of them need to be expounded from the original meaning of the original text. When we understand the original meaning of the original text grammatically, 
we eliminate many of these misunderstandings that result from even good translations sometimes. Uh, he who was born of God does not practice sin, although we may fall into it, unfortunately. We don't have to, it's wrong, it has to be repented of, but we may fall into it. Likewise, a backslider who falls away can get back unless they refuse to repent and come back. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much for your question and God bless.